playing games with me. You know, it's a good thing that they don't know the real name because destruction would have come a lot quicker, right? And bit by bit, he is taking away his covering. And I began to say this in 2004, 2015, sorry. And it didn't seem that way at that time. It seemed that everything was going good. And people could build their walls and they could put their burglar proofs and they could have their alarm. And right in their own house, they're making criminals with the music they listen to, the movies that they look at. They're making criminals right in their own houses. And right, it didn't sound right, nice. Right. Well, we don't have whole night, right? Yeah. You, you personally say you don't want to be on camera, right? Okay. So, uh, what is exactly the message that I get? Well, basically, that Trinidad need to repent. They had a day of prayer, but they need to repent. They need to turn back from yeah, the reproachful way that we have been living. Right. They had many days of prayer, and it all failed them. And even all these because it's multi, multi. All, so. all, these, all these different religions, all these mm -hmm. different idols. Yeah, that's. They pray too. They're all failing them, right? But they say they don't know who we are. Now I know who you are. No, no, no. Just now in your speech, you said they don't know who we are. They speak to many pastors, but they don't know who we are. No, I'm personally, I'm speaking about. I'm not all bringing right. any reproach to your life, but I understand what right. you are about. What, what we are about? You understand the tribes of Israel, and you have allotted them to the certain people, the Negroes in the Caribbean, and the different. Who does the scripture say will do that? Excuse me. Who does the scripture say will do that? The Israelites. No. Who of the Israelites does the scripture say will do that? Identify. Judah. Bring the two tribes together, Judah and Israel, mm -hmm. right? And come out here and tell the people about the last days. Mm. Who does the scripture say? Because it's in the scriptures, right? I'm not. I, I, yeah, 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 lost me on that one. Give me a, um, give me a, um, Amos chapter three, verse six and seven. Yes, yeah, but this storm, this storm, look, the psalm. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah, sorry. Because we really came out here to minister, and not to be minister. We no, I just want to share a word with you. I'm not, I'm not trying to be. Yeah. Right? But they came into our forum. They yeah. Came into no, I've listened. I've listened. You you yeah. Right? So, so the program. Just right? one last thing listen, I want to see. The program that you have, my good father, the power by Jimmy Oshai has set. Mm. Right? It's going to be fulfilled to us. Right. Well, it's one, one thing I want to say. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city? Shall a trumpet be blown in the city? A trumpet is blown at certain times in the scriptures. In times of peace, in times of new moon, in times of war. war right? Right? right now, we are proclaiming that there's, there's going to be war. Seven, seven, war seven, seven. Yeah. Right? We are proclaiming that martial law is coming. Right? We are proclaiming that we are in the last days. Right? Mm -hmm. And the prophecies are being fulfilled to pass. We are the ones who have given, who eyes will open, and who believe in these scriptures to know that, hey, to, to go through the, the um, geopolitical events and mm -hmm. to get through the scriptures. Mm -hmm. Right? Well, and the people not be afraid. Right? Shall, shall there be evil in the city, and Yahweh yeah. had not done it? Right, so he's talking about some of the evils for the, for the, for the prophets, the pastors, mm -hmm. right? Well, we, we, this is what we do. We proclaim their evils. Mm -hmm. right? The Mosai doesn't dwell in temples made with man's bit, hands or yeah. these churches. And all, so they, they offer that. They, take, they, they, they claim to be in the New Testament and the Old Testament is done away with. Yet still they take tithes and offerings. Right? The yeah. scripture says, Can a man rub God? How, yeah. how? That is Malachi, Malachi chapter here. Yeah. Uh, right? But they, they, they rub God. As you said, they, they blaspheme basically because they have these different high masks and yeah. Mitchell. Who's many Edomite, many different ways. Right? Peter yeah. Mitchell, who's an Edomite? That's the purpose of us identifying the nations on the side. Right? Because we have the 12 tribes of our nation, which is Israel, mm. and we also have the heathen nations. Right? right? We identify who the heathens are. Because okay. they don't know who they are. Alright. Right? We have to let them know who they are according to the scripture. Right? right? So we proclaim their destiny and their judgment also. Right? Go ahead. This is um, Isaiah chapter 9, verse 14. It says, I said, verse 13. It says, For the people turn not unto him that smited them, neither do they seek a how of course. Huh, because all the judgment are coming down on the nation. Look yesterday when everybody was preparing for what? That, 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 uh, chapter storm bread. Three, three get licked down in Lavangel. Right? They, they, because what, why, why, why this thing's happening? I'm a fact, that storm that came. We didn't hear anybody perish because of the storm, mm -hmm. right? But if people had perished, or if people had to perish in the, in, in the storm, or the plague of pestilence, it would come. Mm -hmm. the Most High had done it. Let and me yet just still, add, let me just add one thing. Yeah, yet still, they won't repent. 
Right, because one of the, one of the great blasphemies they was doing, uh, they was uh, they was sending her on Facebook. They had a chilling around for the whole ID card. Yeah. And they had this 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 white piece of shit. Can't, can't. This piece of jumbo shit. They had his picture of Jesus oh. Christ and saying Jesus Christ is a tree. Trini, That's yeah, blasphemy. yeah. Ah. That's blasphemy. Mm. Right. So yes, you, you can read Yeah, that. yeah. They always saying that. That's why no storm. They always use that and say that's why no storm do hit. Christ is at Trini. Picture here, they say God is at Trini. Well, they sure right. Jesus Christ is at Trini. Because he's part of them for verse. Well, um, I just like to read from Psalm chapter 19, the first part. No, no, that's that's a part. When you get wisdom, you have to get understanding also. I just want to share something with you about the storm. I'm almost positive you don't know the depths of the scripture too. Right? I I'm almost almost positive. That's bear Right? It says, therefore, Yahweh will cut off from Israel head and tail, branch and rush in one day. Right, the rulers, everybody, the brother was going into it. In one day, the king, is, the old Babylon was sick. He's taken out it, but within 12 hours. And the same thing going to happen again. Mm. Right? What? The ancient and honorable, he is the head and the prophet and that teach it lies he is the tail right because we have these old folks that said on the prophet and here the scripture said what you go to the old and they will teach you the way to go but these heads they don't know anything they don't know they're still saying that we africans hey all you mad but we don't know israel um it's, it's all you kill christ guess what the israelites did kill christ the jews did kill christ that is true yeah but that's why the scripture said two thirds of our people are gonna die for the wicked Right? So they, within everything there's purpose. But you have to get as you get getting wisdom, you have to get understanding of why what is being done. Right? But for the leaders of this people cause them to err. Who lead the people? For example, you see Patrick Manic as the as the leader of China to be mm -hmm. the prime minister, the prime minister first, mm -hmm. the chief minister. But guess what? He's a puppet behind the Syrians. <laughs> All the Syrians are behind him. He's fulfilling their agenda. <laughs> he doesn't care about his people. He uses his people to get in. Or he's just the face that they use to get the people to vote them they're in. But when he's in, when they are in power, the agenda it, it probably it probably deep down in his heart hurts him because he's jailed. It might hurt him to know that the wickedness that he's doing. It might. But overall he's wicked because guess what? He's no, profiting. He profit he's profiting. His pockets fat. His pockets. His pockets. He's seen a lot. Somebody reports on the radio today is that hey, none of these ministers, none of them came out to see about the constituents. None of them came and show concern. You know why? Because all of them like living life in luxury. You can't know how it is to be, your belly to be empty if it's always full. You understand? Their belly always full. <laughs> right? There's only spiritual people out here searching for this knowledge. Mm. Right? That's why we out here ministering to the people. The storm yesterday was. Uh, what? You can what? Yeah. All right. Yeah, chances. Um, yesterday was the 19th, right? Uh, and the simple thing that I use, it, you don't have to use it, but I read the Psalm chapter 19, right? Yeah. A nice way to flow through the Bible. The 19th, you read the 19th Psalm, and it says. The heavens declare the glory of the Almighty. The firmament shows his handiwork. Day unto day they utter speech, and night unto night they reveal knowledge. Right? And that storm yesterday, it was a sign. Last year, at the end of the year, around October, November, there was a freak storm. And the one last night, it happened on the 19th. This was the scripture. The heavens declare the glory, showing he's not pleased with this nation. And as years go by, injustice, bloodshed in the city, innocent people dying, drugs being just sold to young ones, corrupting lives. And as this continues, the Almighty is showing, hey, these are my people. You can't just come in here and corrupt the young ones. All right, well, as I said, I was almost sure that they didn't know the understanding of that scripture. Psalm 19, let me break it down for you very quick. But in the meantime, as you no, well, get Psalm 19, right? As you go ahead and get Psalm 19, give me yours. Right? Because it said that the death, the death and the old, as, as a sign I'm not, for the death and all these other different No, I'm things saying it's a message from the Most High right. in, the, in the interim. And right. then so, I'm saying so what the, the other message death is. And all the, all the other, Oppression that you're seeing going on. All right. All right. Let's see why that's happening. Right. Daniel chapter 9, verse 11. What? It says, Yea, all Israel have transgressed thy law. All Israel has transgressed the law of the Most High. Right? In other words, they break the laws. They're not keeping the laws. Because when you go, as the brother read before, um, the, the, the leaders of the people cause them to err. Yeah, right. right? Or uh, Right? Straight. To stray. Because why? They tell them that we, we live in grace. We live in the New Testament, the Old Testament done away with, so we don't have to keep the laws. Yeah. There are people who know that there's Israel and still coming out here and teaching that what? That, 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 that basically that it's more important to wear fringes 
than to, than, than uh -huh. um, to keep to keep your beard and all, all these other things. So they contradicting themselves, they're being hypocrites and they contradict truth. Hey, right? But you should just slack here. Yeah. Yeah, like the um, I think it's a group, group of Benjamites, if I'm not mistaken, in Maccabees. When he when the Greeks was coming and but it was on the Sabbath day. Uh, oh yeah, they said nah, let me be keeping the Sabbath. Uh, and we have put they put to death. Put to death. Put to death. Uh, yeah, we're not gonna be a spy. We say, fuck yeah. that, we fight this. <laughs> yeah, so we have no more of us in the game. And it's common sense. Uh, it's common yeah. sense. Yeah. Right. Go ahead. Yeah. 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 Now my reason is where they say the city is a very wicked place and you just come under a lot of spiritual attack when you're walking by yourself but you have a corporate body. I move alone. Now I'm covered but I, I, I fight. I have to do a lot of fight. You go to stand up in city gates to pray and it's all types of spirits you're meeting. It's all types of contrary things. So you have to... No, I, I don't care but I have to be wise. I fast before I go out there. And I can only go out three two times and really put that word out and it's on that tax so I could rebuke them and what? I want to something Yeah, you go ahead. Daniel 9 and 11, it says, Yea, all Israel have transgressed thy law, even by departing. That right, they, even by departing, they depart from the law. Because right. the leaders and people tell them the law is done away with. The rulers of the land say, hey, swear in the Bible when they go to the coast, but they have still keep um, final, um, penal law, which is man-made law. Yeah. Right, it's not the biblical law. Right. Otherwise, homosexuality, homosexuals will have been put to death. Yeah, people they're running around town. Yeah. People like not man, normal people who going about their business, police want to be following them. They search my bags, I put up my bags in the grocery. Yeah. And they search my bags. Right? So it gives the people in the grocery an impression that, oh, that guy, he into something. Yeah. And going on years now. Right, going because on years what? now. And they because, think that I... Because why? Because you carry a different aura. Your energy is different. Right? What? Right? Illegal searches says, going on. That they might not obey the... That they might not obey thy voice, therefore the curse is poured upon us. Therefore the curse is poured upon us. Which curse is this? The curse that was prescribed in Dan, um, Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Mm. From 15 to 68. This is the curse that we're speaking about here. That's why we went into slavery. It's prescribed in the curse. That's why the heathens that are around about us, they are high. We, they, we borrow from them when we go mm. to the banks and we can't lend them. Mm. Right? <laughs> they have all the businesses. They are uh -huh. tough. Deuteronomy they rule the world. Yeah. Right? Go ahead. Supplanter, Jacob. So, no, we are Jacob. We are the supplanter. No, they supplant. They steal they, from us. Right. They are, they are on top of us because we broke the Lord. Why? So, therefore, the curse is put upon us, and the oath that is written in the law of Moses, the servant of the Most High. Right. The oath, the oath or the promise, right, is written in the law of Moses. That is what in Deuteronomy. Moses would, well, of the, the first five books of Moses, right? Right, yes. Right. So that is why we see all this, all this corruption, all this, this filth, all this disorder. That's why everything is happening. No, count it a blessing that you found your form in our presence. And because the, the spirit of your heart, which may shine, will be true. To teach and wake up the people to what time we are in, your nationality, your history, on all these, your heritage, all these different things. Mm -hmm. So, whereas before, you just said it was by yourself. But really and truly, you're not. Because if you're for the Heavenly Father and for Father His the word, yeah. this is your family. These brothers here. But you're gonna to have to conform. You're gonna to have to empty that cup. See where you're taking your leave, and we have to be that cup gonna have to be filled with what you choose, right? We have knowledge that you need to know, right? If you desire to be saved in the day of the Lord, we have that knowledge. But you're gonna to have to empty that cup. You can't come with pride. You have to, you have to humble yourself and form and conform. It's Acts 18 verse 24, and a certain Jew named Apollos, born at Alexandria. An eloquent man and mighty in the scriptures came to Ephesus. This man was instructed in the way of the Lord, being fervent in the spirit. He 
make and thought diligently the things of Yahweh, knowing only the baptism of John. Yeah. So, so, you know, 